Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dr. Midden V Singh, an emergency medicine specialist here in the UK. And today we're going to be looking at WWE, World Wrestling Entertainment, the most serious injuries, what happened, how they happened, and we're going to be breaking it down. So let's get into it. Okay, so let's have a look at the first clip. We've got Owen Hart and Stone Cold Steve Austin, two of the great entertainers of WWE. Okay, this is a classic move known as the pile driver. Normally, they tend to keep the head above the level of the knees. And as a result of that, the head actually won't make impact with the ground. But what we can see here is his head was not above the level of the knees, it was below. So his head has made direct impact with the ground and therefore crushed his neck. Stone Cold Steve Austin from this actually had fractured his neck and was taken to hospital as a result of that. We know that after this, he took a while to recover. He got back into wrestling and continued for many, many years more but he was never quite the same. Once you have fractured your neck, it doesn't matter if you have a surgery, it doesn't matter if you've had recovery, you are not gonna be the same. He is lucky that he did not end up paralyzed. There have been other wrestlers in the past in amateur as well as professional wrestling who have actually fractured their neck, but they've actually gone on to actually severing their spinal cord or damaging the nerves that go on to supply the arms or the legs. And they've actually ended up being paralyzed for life. Stone Cold Steve Austin was very lucky. When people talk about wrestling being fake, yes, it is acting. Yes, it's rehearsed. Yes, there's a lot of choreography, but when it goes wrong, it can be seriously wrong. These injuries are there to prove that it's no joke. Okay, in this next clip, we've got Triple H, and again, another massive all-time favorite wrestler of many people out there. As you can see here, we've slowed the clip down, and you can see that actually his leg, his knee gives way. So what's happened here is, he's actually torn his quadriceps tendon. He's actually torn that tendon which connects the quadriceps muscle to the patella. So I'm going to put a diagram here. Your patella is your kneecap. You have tendon either side of it. Above that is the quadriceps tendon. It's the tendon that attaches your quadriceps to the patella. Below that is the patella tendon attaching the patella to the tibia. The tibia is the bone in the lower leg and it attaches to the tibial tuberosity. He's actually torn through his quadriceps tendon and therefore he's not able to straighten out his leg he's not able to straighten out the knee and therefore he collapses because that leg is now rendered useless he's another wrestler who had to go to surgery so he was taken to hospital and he had a quadriceps tendon repair done i have previously torn my hamstring muscle and it felt like someone had shot me with a shotgun in the back of my leg and it's so painful and it renders you unable to walk and this is exactly how triple h had described it and it's exactly how a lot of patients actually describe it when they come to the emergency room when they come to see us in this next one unfortunately this was very sad so owen hart that we saw before fighting against stone cold Steve Austin actually what happened was he was being lowered down on a rig and whilst being lowered down on a rig the rig system actually failed and he actually fell and very unfortunately lost his life the rig system set up by a company that was very experienced in setting the rig system up this is the most serious consequence that can happen in any industry the loss of a life now in this clip we've got one of the greatest matches of all time which is undertaker the phenom versus mankind i remember watching this match on pay-per-view when i was young and i remember it to so much detail it was one of the craziest one of the most outlandish maddest nuttiest fights i've ever seen in my life the amount of instruments weapons used to hit each other with and damage their bodies with was unbelievable the fact that they climbed to the top of this hell in a cell and they were fighting at the top of it was ridiculous so in this clip the undertaker throws mankind off the top of the hell in a cell into and through the table which is lying many meters below mankind sustained so many injuries from this match it was it's it's still unbelievable to this day breaking bones and bones in his face shoulder ribs you name it this guy literally tore and broke everything mankind is such a character that he genuinely being stretched away but he gets back up he climbs back to the top of the hell in the cell and he's fighting the undertaker and the Undertaker then throws him through the ceiling. The ceiling of the Hell in a Cell actually gave way and Mankind falls through and hits the base. Undertaker actually thought 
that he actually had killed mankind, but he remained in character until the officials told him that he's still alive and mankind actually wanted to continue. If you've not seen it, I recommend that you go and watch it because you will not see something like this ever again. So you'd think that this match would have stopped then, but he gets back up, he continues fighting and Undertaker impales mankind with tact. Mankind gets impaled on his back and on his face and he still continues to fight. This type of wrestling is something I do not recommend. He is lucky to be alive and he actually finished the match with his tooth hanging out of his face. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it was informative. And guys and girls, I'm gonna see you all in the next video because I'm gonna be making another one to do with WWE wrestlers and their most significant injuries. So stay tuned for that. And remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching and take care.